are we gonna do? This isn't even our ship. I guess this is where we find out if we're here for a reason. Please tell me I have good news. I made it to engineering. That qualifies. There are a lot of people injured down here and a few dead. It's... it's a mess. Now if I can just find a way to the bridge. You can make it through Jeffrey's Tube 12, but... But what? There's a hull breach on deck one. Force fields are down, life support's failed. Is anyone still alive up there? No. Captain... That puts you in command of the ship. Captain? Can you give me a damage report? Warbin impulse systems are both down, phasers are out too. We were only hit twice, how could it do that much damage? I... I don't know. I have to find a place to take command of... what's left anyway. Hold on. You can take Junction 15 to Auxiliary Control. On it. Captain Mason! Ah, the rumors are true. Back from the dead. Lieutenant Jones, Lieutenant Rook. It's, uh, Commander now. First officer, actually. Such as it bloody is. Well deserved, Commander. All right, what do we have left to play with? Maneuvering thrusters and the navigational deflector. We have partial shields, but we can't stand another attack. So who the hell is attacking us? That I can't help you with. Rummy Lynch. Of course, plasma torpedoes. But they shouldn't have been that effective against us, and why haven't they finished us off? They're not even bothering to clump. They got us dead to rights, and they know it. Any sign of boarding parties? No, sir. They opened fire using a regular disruptor blast, not even at full power, and waited until we raised our shields to attack with the torpedo. They're testing their new torpedo's effectiveness against our shields. They report back it was that effective? The Romulans attack in force. We gotta stop them here. Perhaps it's a new type of weapon. Something that uh, takes a bit of time to recharge. Gives us a little bit of breathing room, but not much. Jamie, can we fire a full power deflector beam from the main dish? Not without blowing the dish in every single relay. Rig it up. I'll need a few minutes. You have seconds. If I don't align this properly, the recoil could breach the reactor core. How do I aim the deflector? You'll have to use thrusters to aim the entire ship. Jones, you'll operate firing controls. Aye, sir. Jamie, it's now or never. Do it! Activate main deflector. Steady, Mr. Brook. You can do this. Jamie, you still with us? Yes, but maybe not for long. The core is about to breach. Use the manual backup. Cycling power through ventral relay. Warning, reactor core ejection sequence is active. Everyone hold on.
That's it. All we have left is the battery. I can maintain life support for maybe a week. After that, it's over. Sensors confirmed the first disruptor salvo from the Romulan was only a 25% power. They wanted us to raise shields. If you compare the energy readings from the plasma torpedo attack on the Enterprise six years ago, it's 50% more powerful. That recharge time, though, makes it too slow to be completely effective in a larger engagement. The emitter is capable of firing even more powerful bursts. They just don't have a power source capable of charging fast enough. So they would need a greater source of power. Jones to Captain Mason. Go ahead. We have the bridge back up and running, sir. Good work. On my way. How many people did we lose on the bridge? Eight. We stowed the bodies in the morgue. Sarah, can you plan a service for 1,200 hours tomorrow? Aye, sir. Captain, we have a Klingon ship approaching. Klingons? Are they arming weapons? No, sir. On screen. Captain, they're hailing us. On screen. Hello, brother. So, I have to ask, brother? My dad got drunk on Arcanus 4 one night. Right. Energize! How do you know the Romulans are going to invade? I've been tracking Commander Kamok's activities in service of the Chancellor for six years. He almost succeeded in overthrowing the High Council before your friends stopped him. Do you know what happened to my friends? No. Only that since he's been banished to Romulus, he's gained the full support of the Romulans for his cause. Why would the Council break off the alliance with the Romulans? Because they're trying to steal our military secrets while undermining the Empire from within. Why attack the Federation? First, Kamok wants revenge. And he believes that if his combined forces win a decisive battle against Starfleet, will sway the majority of the Empire behind him. Second, he wants to prove that the Organians won't intervene. But most of all, he wants to appeal to the Empire's lust for battle. Why? Enough questions! You must act now! Fine. Tell us back to Starbase 6. I cannot. You've been gone too long already. The Chancellor allowed me to give you this one warning because he wants Kamok to fail. But if we do not return soon, others will become suspicious. My ship's a wreck. 
What am I supposed to do with this information? Our father knew that you were not dead. He had a vision that could only have come from Stovo Kor, that you would return and fight in a glorious battle. It was his final wish that we fight that battle together. When the time comes, I will be there by your side. But until then, you will know what to do. You're making this shit up. I'm flattered you think I'm that creative. Yes, my Klingon half-brother told me that the Romulans have some new way of powering the torpedoes on some experimental ship. It's all on this memory bank he gave me. Of course. We think Romulan ships use an artificial quantum singularity as their power source. A black hole. The only way to enhance that would be with a source of energy from beyond normal space-time, and the energy signature from this intel confirms it. Somehow they've captured one of the aliens from the cosmic stream. It's the exact same energy signature as five years ago. Now how do we warn Starfleet and call for help? I think I have a plan for that. We're only about 25 degrees off from the direct signal link between Starbase 6 and the outer subspace relay station. We could reach the beam in six hours using our shuttle. Now, the Yorktown moved outside of the shuttle's comm range with the Starbase before it engaged the Romulans, but I think I could use the shuttle's engines to create interference in the signal to send an SOS, if we position the shuttle right in the signal path. Could be dangerous if there are other Romulan ships out there. We'd be waving our arms and inviting them to find us. I've died before. Well, almost. Yeah, me too. I'll pilot the shuttle myself. We'll do this together. You're in command now. Hell, you probably should have been the captain a long time ago. I know I can count on you. We'll be all right, sir. You. Be careful. Never. The distortion is consistent and repeating. Should be able to see it by now. Who knows how long it's going to take him to figure it out. So, how did you and Eric become friends? My first posting was in the nacelle tube. Most boring posting available. And one night I let it get the better of me, and I forgot to switch out a plasma relay. Almost blew up the entire Valiant. And then he reported me to Ramirez. Well, that's, uh... Quite mature of you to not get upset with him. Oh no, I was very immature and very furious. What changed? He took up for me the next day. He told me that I was a good engineer and that I just needed to focus and believe in myself. He was the first person in Starfleet to see me for who I really was. Not just a pretty face or my last name. Well, I suppose even in the 23rd century, it's hard for some people to look past the surface. And hard to let your guard down when people won't see you for who you really are. Courageous and brilliant? <laughs> look, a ship! It was a good plan, Jamie. Yeah, and now we're both gonna die. <laughs> Probably, yeah. need a lift almost as much as I need a change of pants sir <laughs> did you time that rescue to the last second on purpose 
Figured it'd be more dramatic that way. Truth is, without that Cochrane distortion, we would have had no idea where to find the Yorktown after we lost their transponder. Jamie's pretty clever. What happened? Romulans are testing a new weapon. It's a prelude to invasion. Lieutenant Lamont, is there any further sign of Romulan activity in the area? Negative, sir. Their last known heading was 111 Mark 14. Back to Romulan space. Commander Jansen, tactical analysis. It's been my experience that Romulans never do anything on a whim. If they're this far into Federation space, they've got something big planned. And now that they know we're onto them, they'll be back before we can get reinforcements into the sector. Status of the Yorktown. Completely disabled, hull compromise. The damage is consistent with the plasma torpedo hit. They only hit us once. I think their hull can withstand our tractor beam. I recommend we return to the Starbase. Proceed, Commander. Comms, let Admiral Slater know that I'm going to need to meet with him as soon as we dock. Engage.